since we are home to around 8.5 million species, we need to just have a way to study them. We need to preserve those that have gone or might go extinct. And for this, we have special tools or areas marked out. So when you were young, you would have pressed flowers or leaves and books and collected them, right? A collection of these would have kick-started something called a herbarium. So a storehouse of dead, dried, pressed, preserved plant specimens on paper sheets called herbarium sheets is called a herbarium. The sheets would have labels with information on the date, the place of collection, the collector's name and other such important information. You can find some of the most important herbaria in the world, Paris, Geneva, London, New York and Washington. In India, you have a few of them in Kolkata, Lucknow and Dehradun. So what is the process to go ahead and preserve a particular plant specimen? You need some tools to get the samples, right? Like scissors for twigs, knives for say woody twigs, hooked poles for tall trees, diggers for roots. The box where you carry all of this stuff is not just a simple box, mind you. It's called a vasculum. The specimens are spread out and dried by pressing in between special papers. And these papers are replaced continuously to avoid fungus growth on these specimens. Further drying happens in a plant press. Like the word suggests, two bold, press the paper sheets like this. Bigger specimens aren't cut. They're folded in a neat N or a W form. Leaves are spread to show dorsal and ventral surfaces both. Now, dried specimens are placed on thick paper or card sheet by sewing it with an adhesive. Little flowers or seeds have to be preserved in envelopes. So, you can press plants and preserve them. But what about animals? Big animals are usually stuffed and chemically treated for long-term preservation. Smaller ones are preserved in preservative solution in jars. And so, animals and plants can go extinct. And we first should do all that we can do to protect them from extinction. But if at all they do go extinct, we actually have ways to preserve their remains or parts and draw useful conclusions on their lineage.